Fierce competition isn't just among presidential hopefuls, it's also among other people. And we've got Indiana State Treasurer Richard Murdoch who joins us on the set here. Thank you very much for joining us. And you're going up against incumbent Senator Richard Lugar, who um, you cite as being uh, Obama's most popular Republican, uh, as something of a, of a, of a, of a, a, a slur against him. Um, you're running against him, why? Well, we're running against him because we're convinced the Republican voters in Indiana want a more conservative voice. And frankly, I'm not the one who designated him or nicknamed him Barack Obama's favorite Republican. That happens to be MSNBC, and it's a title he's certainly earned over the last couple of years. Okay. Um, and, and you're running on this con con conservative angle. Now, w you've been watching the Super Tuesday mm -hmm. Events happening and all the all the campaigning through for the presidential hopefuls, all the, all the way along. Does it worry you that we are having such an extended campaign here? Is that damaging to the Republican Party? I don't know that it is. You know, other parties have gone through this before. Just four years ago, the Democrats were concerned that an extended campaign between Hillary Clinton and Barack Obama would damage their chances. Didn't hurt them too badly, and I think the same will happen with Republicans. So, do you, uh, who do you think can beat President Obama of, of the of the four candidates there? And they're very, very different candidates. There's no, there's no, you know, mix and match. Here, really. I think any one of the four has a real chance to defeat. Do you uh, think Ron Paul could uh, beat Barack Obama? Yeah, if I were to rate them in order, he would be the least likely okay, to be sure. Okay, but, that's fair. but I think uh, watching the economy, especially now as we're seeing $4 gasoline, uh, that gets people's attention. They see that as a new tax, in fact. And I think that's going to bring people towards the Republican candidate, regardless who that candidate is. Now, we, we've seen President Ob Obama doing better in the polls. He, he came out yesterday um, talking about what he's going to do. Um, do with with Iran or what he wants to do with, with reference to I Iran and their nuclear ambitions. He, he's made rousing speeches about the, the bailouts. I know you have views on those um, in, in, in the auto industry. He's looking more popular. He is a great orator. Um, how, how does whoever goes for it, let's say Mitt Romney, who appears to be the front runner, how, how does Mitt Romney go up against that? Well, I think uh, that old saying about the rising tide rises all boats may not be fully accurate in this one because uh, while his popularity, the president's popularity is going up somewhat, there's still a large majority of people think that the country's headed the wrong direction. That trumps personal popularity. We've seen that in a number of elections over the years. And, and even though he may be seen as a likable guy, as a good speaker, if individuals feel that they're not going to have a job, that their personal situation is not improving, that makes it a tough mountain for him to climb. And that's why I think a Republican will be the next president. You, 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 you're absolutely certain of that. Be, be that um, Mitt, Mitt Romney who's having to stand up there and say, I'm a conservative, I'm a conservative, I'm a conservative, every time he gets up into, into a debate, which has less appeal to independent voters, which are the key to this race, right? Well, that's right. Independent voters are certainly going to be the key, but independent voters are seeing their gasoline go to four bucks a gallon, too. So mm. I, I really think it's going to be an economic uh, issue that's going to decide this campaign, and we'll see where it goes. We all want to see the economy recover, but uh, certainly in the Wall Street Journal today, there's a lot of talk again with $4 gasoline. Could there be another recession or at least another slowdown, and that's a real concern.